For here, we're going to trim the feet of our mugs. So we have our mugs, they've been sitting out for a little bit. So they're getting to be a little bit more leather hard. What we're going to do is we're going to trim up the bottom so that it's nice and even and it has a space. I'm going to start out with a clean wheel. Uh, turn your wheel head on. I just always like to double check and make sure that my wheel head is going the direction that I want it. I'm going to start out by getting our mug or our bowl, whatever it is that we're going to be trimming. It doesn't matter. In this case, they're mugs because that's what we're making. Uh, to the middle to get that centered. So the way that we do that is we just kind of start out by eyeballing it so that the bottom of the mug is at the middle. And I take my fingers here, again, doing like my T-Rex arms, right? So I'm really braced against my body and I'm keeping that center squat. I keep my finger of my left hand um, just on the tip or right in the, lightly on the center of the, the wheel itself. And then I'm gonna hold my needle tool in my right hand and just bring it so that it barely touches. Now, wherever that line is drawn, that means that it's not the middle. So I wanna very gently and lightly move that pot towards that direction. My goal is to make sure that with me holding my needle steady, the pot doesn't touch the needle tool at all. All right, I got a little bit right there. Again, very, very small movements. Come in here and do that, all right. So that looks good, so that's, that's all in the middle now. What I'm going to do is I get some clay, and it doesn't have to be a whole lot, but I'm going to make uh, three balls uh, I hold my pot where I want it to stick, and I just push down into the wheel head and create a triangle. This is going to help uh, keep that keep our mug um, stuck to the wheel head. If you want to do four, that's fine. We basically we're not trying to get it stuck down. We're just creating a wedge so that it doesn't spin off. Uh, you want to remember your T-Rex arms, right? Everything stays in and close to your body. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start the wheel. I always want to keep my left hand on the pot. My right hand is in control of the tools. This is a trimming tool or a loop tool. We got a big one and a small one. So I always want to start from the middle. And I bring it out to the edge. And then a little bit over the edge there. That's going to help clean up the sides and even out the bottom. Right. If I want to put a raised foot on, I'm going to draw my circles using my needle tool. So again, my arms are braced against each other. I'm using my thigh as a brace for my right hand so that I make sure that that keeps level. And I'm going to draw one circle and another circle. So that right there, so there's a circle inside a circle in there. Uh, that's going to create a raised foot. So I'm going to take my small needle tool. I start at the middle. I'm going to take it out to that edge. Again, we're staying at the three to six o'clock. If you're left-handed, you're over here. It's between nine and six. So I keep my finger. My left hand is braced on the pot. My right hand is in control of the tool. And I just very gently am pressing down until I hit that edge that circle I just drew and I take off that a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing for the outside here, bring it down and around the edge. I can take, there's, you'll notice on these, there's a rounded side and a squared side. That's going to change the kind of cut that you get and the edge that you get on it. So I kind of come through with my squared outside 
and I get those back together. Okay. So that's it. So now when I look at this mug, I have a foot there. You can see how there's like a little bit of a raised edge. It's nice and even. That's it. Next step is a handle and then scorpito.